we may have some reckoning with God to do in the month of September. The Bible says there's four sins that God does not take lightly and the earth convulses every time we practice these sins. God pays close attention to idolatry. We are unbridled and unashamed and unafraid to put before this nation idols. They wouldn't put a picture of a cross up there, but they'll put a picture of a demon God up there and we're flaunting it right under God's nose and we're facing a Semita year and unless we repent, I'm afraid judgment's at the door. The second sin that affects the land is homosexuality, fornication, immorality, and lesbianism. God said, do not defile yourselves in any of these ways. This is the Bible. You can either reject it or you can fear it. I fear it. Desecration usually takes place before judgment comes. The third sin is the shedding of innocent blood, which includes abortion and other things. In 1973, the Supreme Court legalized abortion, and since then over 57 million children have been aborted. Blood has a language all of its own. And when they take a baby and massacre that baby and flush it down the commode, that blood goes into the rivers, and that blood still has a voice, and God hears it. 57 million babies have been aborted, and the cup of God's wrath is filling up. The fourth sin is the sin of breaking covenant. There's a direct correlation in how God treats people who bless Israel or those who curse Israel. God has blessed America all through these years because all of our presidents have been friends of Israel, and they have stood by our most faithful ally in the Middle East. So our current president, President Obama, has categorically pulled away from Israel and threatened to abandon her as future votes come up to the UN concerning Israel. This is a deliberate and a blatant covenant-breaking piece of legislation that may determine our future as a nation into a future that we don't want to think about. Don't think God can't get to the place that his wrath will not wait any longer. America's soul is hanging in the balance, and it possibly could be that these are the final waning hours of America. It could be that September is going to bring about such swift change and such swift judgment. I'm saying possibly that these could be the final hours. To Iraq, to Iran, President Obama, to whoever will listen. You're not through with Jesus Christ. You're gonna see him before too very long. You better make sure you're on the right side when you see him.